Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your planner um, so that you can start recording um, your lesson plans etc um, within iDocio. Um, so to set this up first of all I'm going to click on these three dots over here um, and I'm going to go down to where it says calendar and in our calendar we're going to set up our timetable um, for the year. Now um, this is my last year's timetable that's already completed um, so I'm just going to click over here and I'm going to select this year's 2015 2016 um, and um, and I'm going to bring that up now I've already um, put in my um, lessons for Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday um, and I'm just going to put in my timetable for Monday we've currently changed to a one week timetable um, so I only need to put in one week's worth of lessons um, so on Monday on period one um, so I'm going to click on period one over here and um, the class that I've got is going to be 11 N Newton so I'll stick that in there and I will have them in M01 so I can stick that in okay um, and, and that's done um, just bringing that up again I can change the period that I've got them and I can also change the times that I've got them um, if I click on period I can go anything up to whichever period um, that I that I want over there okay so I'm going to click on um, save and we've done that one okay and then um, period five is when I have my tutor group so go to tutor group um, M01 again click and save that's that one in and then period six I've got my year 12 further maths so click on that M01 save okay and th those are my lessons for um monday nice easy day for me on monday right so um <coughs> i've i've already inputted in um what i've got for the rest of the week um and what i'm now going to do is i'm going to put in um the holidays so um if i go to holidays at the top over here and i'm going to um add my holidays in uh manually so I'll click on add holidays and I'm going to, well, we have a half term break um, from the 26th to the 30th. So I'm going to put those in as holidays so I can select each of those. So that's when we've got a half term break. Um, and, uh, and then we've got Christmas um, and that's on the, uh, the 21st, 31st. So We've got from there, and this is going to be Christmas break. And w we have until the Friday. Then we start back on the 4th of January. So um, that one there. And there we go, and etc. And I can, I can go in and, and manually select um, all of my holidays. Okay, so um, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to um, go to copy. So I'm going to click on copy and um, what we're now going to do is we're going to copy this week um, for the rest of the year. Now in fact I'm not going to go up to the rest of the year um, because I've, um, I've I've not put in all of my holiday, holidays yet. So I'll just go until the end of January because I've got enough holidays to take me to the end of January. Um, but what you would do is set up all of your holidays for the whole year before you do this part. So if I now click on week and um so i'm going to i'm i'm going to capture the whole of um this week here between the 7th to the 13th um and i'm going to repeat that um every week yes yeah, so every week if i had a two week timetable i could change that over here to every um two weeks but we've not we've got a one week timetable so repeat that every week and I've uh, um, down here I've got copy from well I'm going to copy it from the 7th of September to the and I'm going to change that to the uh, we'll go for the 31st of January okay so I'm going to change this here so that it's oops to the 31st of January okay right so um so that's showing me 
that it's going to copy until that point there. Um, now if I click paste um, and we're going to confirm these changes, I'm going to click on done. Okay, what it should have done now is it should have copied it all the way through but can you see where you've got the red highlighted um, dates over here it's skipping those because it knows that those are going to be um, holidays so it's only going to copy it over um, to where I haven't got holidays now um, one of the things that I would mention here is that if you're on a two-week timetable you may need to check to make sure that you've got the right week after your holidays um, so that's something that you might need to go in and, and just manually check and make sure it's done that correctly um, and there you go so now I've got this all in my calendar if I now go to my um, planner over here so I'm going to click on my planner over here what I should find is that I've got um, all of these um, ready for me to input my um, lesson plans into um, and there you go um, thanks very much if you've got any questions then um, make sure you get in touch see you next time